Hello and welcome back to our Let's Play of Fire Emblem. Last chapter we met two new friends, uh, Sane and Kent. Got a testament on combat and we also learned a bit about Lynn's uh, history or heritage. So let's see what lies in store for our adventures in chapter 2. A small altar lies on the outskirts of Bulga. This ancient temple, sacred to the people of Sakai, has long been known for its powerful bond to the world of spirits. Before starting their journey, our travellers come here to pray for their well-being. At the soldier, Lynn's hand is directed to a grand inheritance. Chapter 2, Sword of Spirits. Adam, hold a moment and allow me a short detour. There is a sacred sword enshrined in the northeast of here. The people of Sakai go there to pray for safety at the onset of a long journey. Oh, how quaint! The teachings of Elamin have the followers in their leap. It is nice to see that here at least the ancient customs are still observed. Old man, stay where you are and hold your tongue. Threaten me as you will, but I will not give up the Manikati. The Manikati is a sacred blade under divine protection. It cannot be removed from its place of rest. You're a fool, old man. What good is a sword if you don't use it? Use it in combat? Sacrilege. Sacrilege? I am glass. The gods fear my name, my sword is peerless. And if I want this sword, then this sword I shall have. Now get out of my way. Woof. This is it. It's more magnificent than I imagined. This sword was made for a swordsman of my skill. Hmm? What's this? I can't draw the sword from its scabbard. The spirits of the blade have judged you. You have been found wanting, they have rejected you. What? Listen, you have seen how old fool if you value your own life, you will get out of my sight. Curses, miserable spirits, I care nothing for you. I'll tear this altar down stone by stone. I beg your pardon, my lady. Are you ahead these to the altar? Yes, we are indeed. Then you must hurry and help the priest there. I saw a band of local ruffians heading there not long ago. They seemed intent on stealing the altar's sacred sword. The Manikati. They're going to steal it? I cannot allow this to happen. You look like a virtuous group. Please help him. Lin, so what are you planning? If you hope to go to the priest's aid, you'll need to prepare. You're right. Say, Adam. There are some homes to the south of us. Perhaps we should go there and question the residents. I'm sorry about that, the audio, uh, wait, I seem to be clicking a bit quickly on this one. So the audio is struggling to keep up. Shall I take the lead? Alright. Tell me what you would like me to do, Adam. Let's go visit these houses and see what they're all about. You want me to visit the home, right? I understand. Say, aren't you there? Oh, you're going to help the priest. Well, perhaps you could benefit from something I saw earlier. And bandits have the main entrance guarded. However, one of the altar's walls is cracked and in poor repair. You might be able to create another entrance by hitting that section with your weapons. We're all counting on you. Right, let's move Sane. Like I say, I'm sorry about the audio. Um, I'm having to rush a bit. And next I am. Right, let's see what this house holds in store. Just talking about some more territory. Um, and how if you're on horseback you can't across the mountains at all. Which is a bit of a pain, but luckily for us there's a wall that has a crack in it and let's go see what happens if we attack it. And let's get Kent to send them to uh, visit the final house and see what it's all about. Do you know much about the sword held at the altar? It's called the Manikatai, blessed by the spirits. According to the priest, the Manikatai is waiting for the rightful owner to appear. It's so odd, don't you think? The idea that a sword can choose who will wield it. Alright, as I highlighted before about the fortresses, it can, um, it can kind of, you know, Reinforce your, wait, reinforce your guys there with defensive bonuses and you can stop and gain health there. So 
so let's give him a sword and move the rest of the guys up to give him a bit of support. Can't quite reach out the fortress, but uh, I should be able to block it off a bit. He's hoping, anyways. <clears throat> From now on I'm probably going to leave this as the last full battle where it's not sped up and um, some of the battles can get quite long and I don't want to kind of turn one battle into several episodes um, it's, it'll become repetitive so like I said this will be the last battle so let's go finish off this bandit Move him forward and always try to make sure that your weapons are um, correct for fighting. So I'm using a sword here against the Iron Axe. And that's into him. That's quite a good level up, which is getting quite fast lanes. Sometimes you don't want too many. Um, oh, personally, I always prefer the. I'm sure I've said this in the previous episode, the fast, agile characters is... It's all fine and then you're having really high defence, but later on when you start facing units with either huge attacks or uh, mages, then defence kind of becomes less important. And it's more about your avoidance of the attacks as opposed to the ability to soak up the damage. <coughs> and, excuse me. However, characters like Sane, who is... Reasonable defense, but still quite fast. He's very useful. Um, I don't think I've talked about unit types yet. Obviously, there's the general swordsman, or uh, warriors like Lin, uh, bandits, and we'll see later on swordsman, or the, the swordsman on the throne, really. But then you also get other cool units like um, Pegasi Knights, Archers, Mages, of varying types, Knights. Um, if I do remember, you get Assassins um, who use lots of attacks. And also, several characters such as Sane and Kent. I'm, if I do remember correctly, I'm not getting the games mixed up, they can evolve. Um, and similar in the fashion to Pokemon games where um, they kind of become a slightly new upgraded version of the unit but they get they get extra bonuses upon this transformation it usually happens at the, the limit the level limit of 20 I think it is um, so that's pretty cool it's nice to um, or it encourages leveling up your units more I feel if you've got something to aim for so let's finish off this final bandit. Oh, I say finish, I say let's fight this final bandit. Let's be prepared for this. This battle with the, um, the boss. Obviously, he's using his sword, so we'll want to switch to lances. As I said previously, I'm uh, going to speed up the battles from now on. I'm kind of running out of things to comment on other than pointing out the obvious. Such as Sane uses his sword against this bandit, he kills this bandit, it'll become boring. But if you'll just put up with me for this episode, and, and then later on we can. Who do you think you are? What chance do you think you have against me? Hey, he's got quite good at you know, hit, but he's doing very little damage against Kent. He hasn't put up a lot of health, anyways. So we'll just I think we'll leave leave Lynn where she is and And we'll just um use one of the knights to finish finish him off with a horseman. I think I'd rather that and don't wanna risk, you know, Lynn getting killed. One more hell do it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm getting quite a dry throat at the minute. Here we go. Let's glass down. You, you, you. Ugh. And Kent has leveled up. My bonuses are treat shall we get this time. Oh, one HP. Oh, that, that was terrible. That's really going to make a difference, that extra health. And this is just explaining how sometimes when you kill an enemy, we'll, um, we'll pick, on it, pick up on it later. 
that they'll drop uh, they'll drop certain items. You can explore it when you press the right button, and it will highlight the item that can be dropped in gold. Mm. It's very useful because say oh, I'll have to explain there. I your clothing. I am Lynn, the chieftain's daughter. Thank you. I am unscathed. You have my gratitude. And the sword is it safe? Yes, I have sealed the sword safely away. Until I remove my spell, the sword cannot be drawn. Now, as a token of my gratitude, I shall allow you to lay hands upon the Manikatai. Touch the blade's pattern and pray for a safe journey. Oh, thank you so much. Hmm? What did... The sword, it's glowing. Ah, hmm, it is the power of the spirits. Lin, they have locked into your soul and they call out to you. What does that mean? You are its rightful owner. You are to wield the Manikatai. No, I couldn't. Can't. I couldn't. It is the sword's wish. If you require proof, draw it from its sheath. Hmm. Wow. It came out effortlessly. I never dared to hope that I might meet the wielder of the Manikatai in my life. I am indeed fortunate to see the sword reach your hands. My sword? It is time for you to go, Lin. You face a great many ordeals. Grip this sword and meet your destiny head on. Yes, yes, sir. And there we go. Go send a cool new weapon. So this is the Manikatai, a blade with no equal. This is also unbelievable. Perhaps the most famous sword in all Sakai in my hands. It's not so strange. In fact, many legends tell similar tales. Special blades all over the land call out their proper owners. And yet when I saw that draw that blade, Lindus, I felt something extraordinary. That sword was waiting for you. You were meant to draw it. Stop it. I am nothing special. Think of it this way. Some weapons feel more comfortable in your hand, right? Tell the Manikatai itself feels very comfortable with you. Does it make it any easier for you to accept? It doesn't appear that either of us can use it. It does feel right in my hand. A blade that only I can wield? That seems reasonable enough. I can understand that. Look at it, Adam. This is the Manikatai. This is my sword. I must care for it well. Ooh, I'm the talk fast there. I'll not do this next time, Mama. Certainly slow down my button clicking. What? Madeline's daughter's still alive? Uh, yes, Lord Lundgren. The girl's travelling with Ken and Sane. What are your orders? If we let them be? Bah, I've heard that Northern Burn is full of bandits. She's just a girl. She'll not survive her journey here. I'm more concerned with my older brother. His life must be ended quickly. The poison. There must be no blunders. Yes, my lord. He suspects nothing and continues to drink it. The Marquess's death, due to no doubt his sudden illness, is not far off. Hehehe, <laughs> soon, soon Kaelin will be mine. Right, so that's the end of this chapter. Again, I apologise for the silly speed at which I'm talking and I'll slow down my um, my button pressing and take it a bit easier and uh, try and control my excitement. And hopefully we'll see you next time. Thanks for listening.